Hello, hello, friends. You all know that I had to get the new items, the new supplies from Tim Holtz because they are well, the papers, alcohol, ink related. But I wanted to try out these sanding discs because I love embossing my alcohol ink backgrounds and then sanding off the top layer. So we'll get to those. I think we're going to do this, this first because I don't want to get too messy and then yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. But, um, I'm excited to try these out. Honestly, if I'm being honest, I think I already know that I'm not going to like this paper because graphics has a black alcohol ink cardstock and I don't necessarily like it for, um, my alcohol inks, but we're going to try it and see. Uh, and these are interesting. These are clear transparent sheets, um, which are going to be interesting to use. So I'm going to set those aside. We're going to try out the sanding discs first. And I have a bunch of stuff ready over here. So I'm going to show you the technique. I have a video and I will link it at the end. And if I remember to link it, I'll link it in the description as well. Um, but I love, like I said, embossing my alcohol ink backgrounds and then sanding off the top. And what I've been using for that is actually these nail buffers. And I, I want to say these are like 10 bucks maybe. Um, maybe I can't remember. $7.00. They're fairly cheap and there's four sides, so you get a lot of use out of them. Um, and it gives a really nice soft uh, effect. Okay, you still get a little scratchiness. I don't know if you guys can see that, a little scratchiness, but um, yeah, it works really, really great. It works the best with 3D embossing folders because you, had a, you have a lot of dimension. Um, let me show you. I'm gonna grab all my stuff here. Hold on. I'm a little bit too far from me. I'm gonna pull my table closer. This extra table I have. Sorry, nothing can go smooth. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's better. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm sure there's a million and five ways that you can use these sanding discs, but this is why I got them. One of the reasons why is because I have this cardstock from Tim Holtz and I wanted to see how it would sand because it's craft on one side and then metallic on the other. So you use these with a blending tool. They just go on just like that. And I can tell you that the grit is, well, I don't necessarily know if it's higher or lower, but it definitely is, it works way better than the nail buffer, if that makes sense. So we're going to, I can zoom in a little bit. Just have to remember to zoom out later. All right. We're just going to Buff off a little bit of that edge here. Sand it off. Well, that's kind of cool. Just like that. You guys can see that. Hello, hello, everybody coming in. Hi, Leanne. Moit oh my gosh, Moitza. I think I'm saying your name right. I I apologize. Melly. Hello, hello, Sue. Thank you for joining. Hello, Lori. All right. Now we're going to just go on the top like this. like this. It's very, very gritty. And then I'm going to show you what the nail filer does because it's a, it's a little more 
uh, what would the word be? Less abrasive, if that makes sense. So we're going to just go around the edge here. It gives a softer finish. Okay, so this is the sanding tool, the sanding discs. And then this is the nail filer. So you could see it's a, a little bit softer. I think it'd be fun to kind of use these in conjunction with each other. Kind of soften up that edge a little bit. I don't know how that sounds on the microphone. So if it's a horrendous noise, just let me know and I'll stop. I didn't think about that when I decided to try these out. Okay, so that's one way you can use it. Really fun. All right, let's set these aside. And these hearts are from the Sizzix, um, these hearts, let's see if they have a name. Stacked Tiles Hearts. And those of you might be thinking, I thought you weren't going to buy anything. I broke that no buy <laughs> January. But in my defense, I had a gift card from my mother-in-law. And I asked on Instagram and everybody said it didn't count. I was like, I was basically buying my own gift. So there's that. So technically I haven't bought, I have like two carts full of stuff, but I haven't, I haven't bought. Okay, so this is an alcohol ink background I created many, many years ago. I have probably 200 of them, um, and I just embossed it. The synthetic paper embosses really, really well. I want to say this is um, more of like an artsy brand. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. It's not um, Ranger Yugo paper. It's something else. Um, but this is the embossing folder that I used. Okay. And we're going to, um, where did I put the, oh, there it is. Going to just sand off the top, okay? And this, go. you can do it very lightly. And I will say that this technique does look better on some backgrounds more than others. But just to give you an idea, and I wasn't doing anything, obviously, with these backgrounds for many, many years. So just decided to break them out and give them a try. So you want to kind of be a little light handed because you're going to get, because these are so abrasive, you're going to get lots of scratching in areas that you might not want. Uh, with the nail buffer, it's a little less noticeable. And then you'll also see that this gets really dirty and it transfers. So it's not going to get as bright white. And so what I have done is I just take one of the nail buffers and then I just kind of sand it off. Just like that. See, and then you'll get more defined. I mean, I can keep going, but I think you guys get the idea. So has anybody bought these yet? Two. Bless me. I think, oh, geez. So you can see the difference between the two here. Let me see. Maybe you can. Um, this one, again, has more scratchiness to it. And you could see maybe up here a little bit more than this one. This one's softer. This is the one that I did with the nail, the nail buffer. Not buying in 2023. <laughs> yeah. uh, finer or coarse, yes. Okay. 
Now I actually do need to switch this out because I'm going to try a um, a background that I embossed a while back. This is oxide and distress spray, something I don't know. Um, Just to see, yeah, I didn't think I was gonna like it. It's a little too abrasive for me. Like it just rips off too much. It's not, let me see this one. This The nail filer is a little more gentle. Although I will say that I do like holding the blending tool versus holding this more. So, if it can be like uh, in between of the nail filer and then how abrasive this one is, that would be perfect. <laughs> Just the in-betweener. We'll find Tim Holtz in Home Depot soon, his products. Um, all right, I'm just gonna do a couple more. Oh, I wanted to try this one because this one I embossed with this and I thought it would be fun for a, um, like a Valentine's Day background. All right, now I can switch back. So I do not like sanding off of paper with these for this um, embossed technique. Make sure that's on right. And you can do as much or as little as you want. I'm kind of going over it lightly. That way I don't get too much of, you know, each layer. I just want to take off that top layer. Just like that. Isn't that cool? And then I'm gonna switch again. I'm gonna go through these like no one's business. I want it to be more bright white, so. Because they get dirty, well not dirty, but they get um, the color on it and then like the paper and stuff, it's hard to get like a good, white if that makes sense like the color and everything transfers onto it so the only upside to these is again the you can use it with the tool versus you know holding this um let me see how many are in here the price point there's 10 in here there's, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve in here. I'd say about the same because typically on one background, I would probably use two or three sides at least. So price point, they're about the same if I'm remembering how much the nail buffers cost. So yeah, there's that. All right, now we're going to try out the paper, which I'm excited about. So I wanna show you, okay, so I created um, some backgrounds on alcohol ink cardstock. This is not a synthetic, it's like a, I don't know how to explain it honestly, but it's not a synthetic plasticky paper like Yupo and all those others. Um, I absolutely loved this, but the cost of the alcohol ink cardstock just I I can't deal with. <laughs> it's way expensive. Um, so I decided to buy some graphics black uh, synthetic paper, and I created 
similar look it was supposed to be, but I don't necessarily like it. It's doesn't like, let me see if I can pause for a second and think of what I'm trying to say. So on the cardstock, the ink, it will like soak in in different areas versus on the synthetic paper, obviously it's going to like sit on top. So it just kind of, it it's not the look I was going for. I mean, it's definitely pretty, but this is more kind of what I was going for, okay? And I actually, this is actually going to be a class. I know I keep saying class, 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 but coming up and I actually mounted these on uh, wood panels and put resin over top. So I did two of them. This one was my first one and it, the resin is, is bumpy. Like it's not flat. Um, but yeah, anyways, so that's that. Okay. With that said, the packaging of these say graphics on them. So I think these are just re-marketed graphics, obviously, in paper. Um, so you can get a pack of the black alcohol ink paper, uh, 12 by 12. Um, I think there's 25 that come in a pack for about $20. Okay. This is five by seven and there's 10 in a pack for about $10, I think is what I paid for it. So you do with that information, what you want to, <laughs> if it ends up being, a you know, what I think it is, do I think it's worth paying the price just because it has Tim Holtz? No. But it feels the same. Okay. Let me find my... I had the black card stuck somewhere around here. All right. I got to keep it 100% because it's just... How I do things. Okay. So, I mean, this is the graphics 12 by 12. Then this is the Tim Holtz. Okay. Let me just zoom out a little bit. It's not wanting to focus on anything. There we go. All right. I might get banned from, <laughs> I don't know. Companies will probably hate me, but I'd rather be, have my integrity intact because if there's nothing special about this, then um, no sense in paying that price for it. All right, so for the black cardstock, you unless you're using pearls, which we might actually start, we might actually use some pearls on here. You do have to use a white ink, which I didn't pull mine out. Man, I'm sneezing all over the place. That's so true, Sue. If, if, yeah, he's not, I don't think he's going to come after me or anything, but, you know. <laughs> come on. Is there a ball that is supposed to shake in this? And I'm all about supporting crafty businesses. Do not get me wrong. But, okay. But if it's just a another packaged same item, I just, I'd rather spend my money on something else. All right. So we're actually going to use Oh, smack it on the floor or the table to get the ball. It does have a ball. I'm trying to shake up the white one, but it's not shaking. All right, let's try some pearls, actually. See, there's the ball and the pearls. Okay. 
Sorry, I should have done this before. Holy moly. There we go. I'm getting my arm workout today. You guys excited for the new color? I cannot wait to see what it is. I'm super excited. Let's see, what blue do I like more? I like this one. Okay, with the pearls, you do have to use blending solution. Um, another way to kind of save a little bit of money is using isopropyl alcohol, but with the pearls, you have to use blending solution. They will not move around without blending solution. Ooh, look at that yellow. That's pretty. Okay, now where did I put my blending solution? There it is. Okay, so we're going to just put some on here like that. And I have my airbrush today just because, oh, I guess I should turn it on, right? There we go. Ooh. That's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. All right. I wish that I could remember where I put those other smaller papers. I wanted to try them out side by side. Is anybody following me on Instagram and how obsessed I've been with alcohol inks the past couple days? <laughs> I'm not that savvy with the airbrush yet, but I'm hoping that it's a little bit better than a, like the hair dryer. It's a little loud down there, but um, yeah, not pretty. All right, we are going to try it side by side because I want to. I'm just going to cut this really quickly. All right, so I cut it smaller so that we can determine, so we can always know which one's which. <laughs> airbrush, okay. You have an airbrush with the alcohol. Use an airbrush with alcohol inks. It looks beautiful. What kind of airbrush do you use? This is actually a, I've had this for quite some time and I've used it kind of like, just so that I can get used to it. Um, it is actually linked in my Amazon storefront. Um, I can't remember the name, it's Master Airbrush. I think it was about 50 or $60. Um, it's worked perfectly fine. It doesn't stay on constantly, which is why I really like it. Um, it just kind of turns on when, it, when I'm using it. So I hope that helps. But yeah, isn't that pretty? Okay, we're gonna do this one now. We're going to put a little bit down. And then I'm going to show you when you add white. Whoops. How intense the color can be on the black.
To be fair, I gotta add a little bit more blending solution here. When I first got it, I was really intimidated, but I was actually taking some classes um, to try and learn how to make flowers, which it was an epic fail on my part because I didn't do the classes and I was just paying monthly and it, I just wasn't doing it. And when I would try, I would give up too quickly. <laughs> um, so I stopped, but I. I'll pick it up again eventually. Um, I mean, I don't see much difference, to be honest. But again, you do with that information what you want. Okay. Because it does say graphics on it. So, all right, we're going to set those aside. And we are going to use another piece and we're going to add um, white to it. I only had a small white one. Maybe the, yeah, there we go. Maybe the ball will mix quicker. It doesn't feel different. It doesn't look different. Although I don't think the graphics one that I got, um, the 12 by 12, was it did. I don't remember it saying Dura Bright on it. Um, but man, okay, if there's a ball in here, I cannot get it to move. I imagine there's a ball because it's the mixative, but. Um, okay, if I remember, it's been so long since I made one on black. I'm going to add some white, okay, kind of how we want it. And I'm going to use blending solution because I have it right here. Okay, we're going to spread that white out. I should have grabbed the alcohol ink cardstock so I can show you the difference, but. And I am not an alcohol ink artist and I don't claim to be. So if you're watching this and you're like, this girl does not know what she's doing. I know, but I still enjoy it. And that's all that matters. Right. I need to hold on one second. Would you get out of here? My user. All right, I need to um, is Moitza still here? I'm gonna add you as a mod and let's see Sue okay, thank you. <laughs> There we go. Little intermission for the trolls today. All right. Now we're going to take some ink on top. Now, you wouldn't be able to do this 
on the black by itself, obviously, because you'll see it doesn't show up, okay? So that's why you need to add the white. I always got questions when I would post, how did you get it to show up on the black? It's because I added the white first. Um, and the colors are boysenberry, wild plum, and monsoon. My three favorite colors to use. Okay, and maybe we'll add a little bit of pearl. Exactly. I think art in general is kind of just one of those things that I had posted a story. Um, I had actually <laughs> my own work yesterday, and I'll share in just a second, had me in tears because it brought back those the feeling of my art teacher in high school telling me, you're not trying, you can do better, this isn't art, all those things, right? And it just, obviously, it was pertaining to, like, people. I could never draw people. I can, you know, paint exactly right, you know, the right way or whatever. And so um, even though it's a different type of art form, it just had me in those feelings of not feeling um, like it was, I had these feelings of wanting to be creative and feeling artsy, but I obviously was told that I wasn't good. <laughs> so um you know, that self-doubt definitely sticks with you even to this day, which I'm working on. Um, but yeah, anyways, I know. Wasn't very nice. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. <laughs> Too funny, Sue. I think I'm going to end up making brown. All right. Let's see. See, I can't blend it like out like I can on the alcohol ink cardstock because on the alcohol ink cardstock, it just kind of seeps into it and it just gives you a totally different look. I mean, I've seen some really amazing alcohol ink pieces done on black um, using graphics paper, but it's just, it's not for me. I wish I can find um, larger pieces of the alcohol ink cardstock from Tim Holtz, like what company he uses, because I'd buy it in bulk, it's amazing. All right, I'm not really making anything too extravagant, but just to show you. Okay. And it also like stays sticky on top, I've noticed too. I don't know. It's just weird. It's not the paper for me. So it is what it is. All right, I'm going to set that aside. Okay, and then we're going to do some on the transparent sheets. If I can find them. Always misplacing something. Yeah. 
All right, I haven't used these yet. They're very thick. Okay, let me see. Actually, that's not gonna work. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna throw a bunch of pearls down. Or if you put a layer of collage glue varnish on before you ink. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look that up, Sue. Thank you. Um, let's do something fun here. And we got some purple here. And then let's do some pink. And a little bit of pearl here. And decoupage glue. Oh, interesting. Whoops, I got that off of the, yeah. All right, I'm gonna add a ton of isopropyl alcohol. Oh, I forgot I'm using a uh, pearl, so I have to add the. Yeah, see how it kind of stuck there? My bad. All right. All right, this was a fail. As you could see, it got all gunky because <laughs> I forgot to use the, uh, what's it called? The blending solution. All right. I do have a alcohol ink class coming up in February going to be free. I don't have the link just yet. It's part of the card summit. Um, it's going to be fun. And I share lots of different tips on how to blend out alcohol ink backgrounds and things. Okay, I think I'm done with this. <laughs> I don't know if these transparent sheets are for me. We'll see. I don't know. I'm gonna set this aside somewhere though. All right. I'm gonna clean this up and then I will show you. How long have I been live for? 40 minutes, okay, yeah. I'll show you what I made yesterday and then um, I will let you all go to back to your lives. <laughs> Okay, uh, to clean up, and this is a glassboard studio mat. There we go. I need to clean my hands too. All right. So in short, the, the new papers or substrates are meh. It's meh. <laughs> I don't think I'll be buying them again. So um, there's that. All right, let me grab them really quick.
All right. So I have a few of them. So let me see if I can remember how I did this. So this is just, I think it, yep, like this. So just a couple small pieces that I kind of try to do something artsy. <laughs> so there's that. And then these were fun too. Created these. And then these are on the Ranger art boards. This one is, which I really love creating on actually. And oh, this was stuck in there. This is another one of those um, pieces that I created on the alcohol ink cardstock. I actually want to get some, um, I don't know if you, you guys have used alcohol ink cardstock, the black one, it's like velvety, like it's really weird. It's, it's yeah. And then these are the larger ones. This is the one where it made me cry. <laughs> I made myself cry. No, um, it's kind of one of those things like you, again, like growing up, I always felt creative and just, you know, but then being told and having those feelings of like not being good enough. Um, yeah. Anyways, and then so when I made it, I was just like, oh, look at this. Look what I can do, teacher look at this. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so those are the things that I made yesterday. I am thinking, uh, uh, planning on possibly selling some of these in the future. Um, if you are a part of my email list, you will um, get notified first. So yeah. Anyways. All right. This is almost dry now. You can see it's like still, yeah, it's dry, but it's like sh really shiny. Like it didn't, like it's not dry almost. And I like, like more of like a matte finish. Okay, these are the pearly ones. These would be fun to emboss and then um, the, uh, what's it called? Sand off. I tried to do, oh, and I just messed it up because my fingers are always dirty. I tried to do like a beachy theme scene with alcohol inks, <laughs> but now I got pink there. Pearls will never have a map. Oh, no, I know. Pearls won't, but I didn't use too many pearls here. Um, like this pink or the purple here. That's just regular alcohol ink. Same with the blue. Um, the yellow is pearls. And then a little bit of pink right there. Yeah. Yeah, that one was fun. It was an experiment, but you could see the back. It's because I didn't like the back. Additive sits and shines. Yeah. I mean, it's all preference too. It's, you know, I am kind of picky <laughs> when it comes to like my paper and stuff like that, especially because we're paying so much for it. And I probably not waste it. I won't say waste it because even if I'm just trying something out, I'm still learning and so I I I think it's worth it even if I don't really do anything with it. Um and a lot of people don't like wasting, but if you're learning and you're kind of um mastering your skill, I don't think that it's it's wasting. Um, cause it, it, it is a waste if it sits there and you don't do anything with it and then your inks dry up or whatever. Right. <laughs> you know, like when people say you aren't good enough because you are and you, oh, thank you, Jerry Lynn. Those are my art teachers back in the day, high school. 
I, I took it over and over again because I loved art and I just had that something in me wanting to do it, not realizing that, you know, although it's something different, paper crafting and alcohol ink and things like that is different, but it still was in me. And although it didn't come naturally, none of it did. Um, I did have to, you know, lots of practice and learning and things, but, um, yeah, I, I mean, I think eventually if I were to take a class and, and I could probably draw a good face or something, I draw stick figures. <laughs> My daughter is actually a really good artist. She draws really, really well. And she can just watch a video and do it like how they do. So it's crazy, but. Anyways, if you liked this technique where I took the sanding block and buffed off the top layer of the alcohol ink background, you are going to love this video right here where I break it down into manageable steps and I use lots of different items in your stash so you can get using up all of those supplies. And I will see you right there. I want to thank you all for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.